what is going on so this will be the uh, first voiceover I do um, and this one right here is uh, is a commission that I took back in uh, 2018 so uh, about four years goes is how <laughs> is how long uh, I recorded this video uh, never got to editing it or doing a voiceover so here we are but um, Basically, I was contacted by this cosplayer that uh, cosplays as Robin uh, from Batman and Robin, and he wanted a bow staff that he could basically carry around that was metal and that would break down in half. So he wasn't carrying like a big old six foot long metal pole everywhere he goes. Um, so I thought it would be a fun thing to try out. It definitely seemed within my realm, and uh, and after that we just got to talking. Um, you know, he, he wanted to do steel, and I was like, you know, that's going to be really heavy, so I talked him into aluminum. Uh, the material itself is more expensive than steel, but as far as the lightweightness, I think, you know, aluminum was a way to go, and that's for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I went down to the local metal supplier and uh, handpicked out these aluminum tubes, uh, you know, to whatever felt good in the hand, whatever seemed like it would be right. Um, and one of which the outer dimension fits inside the inner dimension of the other, which you'll see come to play here in a little bit. But uh, I went ahead and cut them all down with a metal cutoff saw, and right now I'm just on the the belt grinder, cleaning up all the burrs, cleaning up all the edges, getting all the uh, the nasty stuff off from uh, from the cutoff saw, making it look pretty. You know, overall, this is really a, uh, a fun project. Um, I was pretty hesitant at first when the customer contacted me. I was like, oof, I've, I've done swords, knives, shields, uh, never done a bow staff. Um, but, you know, he's like, you know, sleep on it, see what you think, let me know. And, uh, and I did, I thought about it, and I was like going through my head and figuring out how, you know, how to accomplish this, um, how to make one big six foot long bow staff and then separate it in the middle um, and then somehow easily make it uh, you know collapse into um, it definitely crossed my mind to do uh, you know like the the daredevil where it collapses in like a collapsible cane uh, it also crossed my mind to thread the rods in the middle um, but you know, I, I really didn't want the uh, the time that he would have to take to like stand there and screw it, like screw 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 to like tighten it and then unscrew it. Um, so I ended up running with the idea that I came up with, which is magnets. Um, and right here, I've got the uh, the rotary tool. I think this is back when I had my Dremel um, with a flex shaft on it. Uh, I have the I have since moved on to a Fordham, which a Fordham rotary tool is definitely the way to go. It's got the horsepower, um, it's got a reverse. It's uh, it's a great tool. But here you can see me popping in one of the magnets, just making sure test fit. Um, got a little groove for it to rest into, wanting it to be flush. So uh, there we are. Got them both both milled down and flush. And right now, uh, I'm kind of showing how one will slide into the other. Uh, and the idea was to have the two magnets um, basically conjoin inside there. Uh, this is where I ended up taking it as far as uh, for the welding portion of it, because I do not weld, uh, especially aluminum. I've done steel before in the past, but uh, liquid metal concepts is definitely the way to go. Um, I've had them help me with numerous fabrication projects, and their their welding fabrication is on point. Uh, so here it is. I just got them back, and I got an oak dowel, and uh, basically I'm gonna cut that dowel down. And uh, you'll see here in a minute that let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the JB weld, but first I'm gonna find my center. I'm gonna drill my holes because essentially. Um, this dowel is going to be inserted into those aluminum tubes and then I'm going to screw the magnets down because those magnets came with uh, or I ordered them with holes and countersinks so basically I'm going to take a screw 
and into the dowel mount the uh, the magnets so here we go lining it up and drilling that initial pilot hole so that uh, once they're in there <laughs> I've got the hole already centered ready to go and uh, right here should be setting up to yep use the rotary tool use that Dremel and basically I'm just taking a, a little little cutoff wheel and making a little a bunch of little grooves in the wood uh, essentially what I want to do is use that JB weld and when I put it inside the pipes uh, I want to have you know a rougher surface for it to, to grab onto so by making these little indentations on the wood uh, that's gonna give the JB weld somewhere to go and somewhere to kind of keep a grip to so it's just not a slick on slick surface and uh, here we go with the JB weld it's gonna smear that all over the dowel <laughs> and um, using a sacrificial screw right now because they definitely got covered in epoxy and let's line it up and just hammer that down so basically this this end of the pipe it gets recessed down inside uh, inside that collar basically and the other one is flush on the outside <laughs> yeah thumbs up all right So here we are install installing the first magnet, nice and flush. And with the longer bit, I'm going to install that second magnet. And uh, this is the point where it was, I think I ordered uh, Four different types of magnets because magnets you can order with different uh, poles different weight poles uh, and I didn't want it to be uh, too heavy like two magnets that would stick too hard so it would be too too tough for him to pull apart and I also didn't want them to be too light to where if he held one half the other half just you know popped right off um, but here it is with the test fit I think he used a five pound and an eight pound magnet and uh, given it a test spin and it holds together pretty good so definitely a win on that end uh, here we go uh, these are old Instagram stories I didn't have any uh, recordings on my camera from this time but basically I have my wood lathe and uh, I got some parts in so that I can mount this on both ends uh, basically there's no live edge there's just two two spitting sides and the bow staff is basically mounted there so if you remember when I got the welds back from liquid metals uh, they're a bit on the yeah there we go a little bit on the gummy side so what I'm going through is using uh, files of sandpaper sanding them down so they look um, so they look real nice and clean and nothing against the welds from liquid metals that's just that's just what uh, what you get when you weld <laughs> and the finished product is is uh, dependent on the um, on the look you're going for and here we go get them get them both of them done and at this point I'm on my uh, on my polishing compounds and polishing the ends up <laughs> and there we go uh, both the ends and the middles are polished and I went with a satin finish on the insides And with that two-tone look, I think it came out pretty good. Yeah, here's the Instagram story mode. She's magnetic too. And clicks right in. And holds up really nice. The uh, the cool thing, yeah, the cool thing is when you go. <laughs> Pops right open. Um, there's a slight slight I inner dimension to outer dimension um, tolerance uh, where the the pipe has a little bit of play but not enough to actually notice 
but uh, when you do separate the two, there's enough of a vacuum there that it pops. So that's a nice little addition. And just some more shots. But yeah, this ended up being being a really fun project that I I was glad that I took on. Um, the customer was definitely happy too. I he he was daily asking how everything was going. He's like, oh, you know, show me show me what you're what you're doing now and keep me updated. And not at all was it a uh, a harassment type scenario. It was a an excitement, and it went both ways because I was excited to show him and he was excited to see it, like the progress. Um, in between, you know, everything. So, uh, there we go. Hope you guys liked it. And, uh, there's a shot of him with his bow staff. Happy customer. <laughs>